Hello, Camp Francis Camper. To those of you who are new to camp, welcome to the Children's Bereavement Program. My name is Kathy Van Tegum, and I'm the director of Camp Francis. I'm here today with my friend, Frankie. Hi, Frankie. Do you want to say hello to all of the kids and volunteers out there? Frankie says hello. We hope that you're doing well. Despite all of the changes that have occurred in our world lately, one thing that hasn't changed is how important you are to us and how much we miss you. Although we aren't able to be together in person this year at camp, because we want everyone we know and love, including you, to stay healthy and safe, we wanted to send you a little bit of Camp France's love. Our camp volunteers have been planning for months to make this care package special. Our theme for this year that will help us soar into Camp Francis 2021 is Wings of Hope. In this package, there are things that we need you to complete and send back to us, and things that we hope you can do with your family, friends, or support system. There are also things that we hope will remind you of the support and the tools that you've learned at Camp Francis. Should we take a look and see what's inside? Let's go through it together, shall we? What's in there? Can you take that out? Oh my goodness, you found a bell. Thanks for hanging on to that for me, Frankie. Everyone needs to be reminded of the support that we have for each other. Sometimes words just aren't the right fit. But sometimes the sound of ringing bells are. Please ring this bell when you are having a hard day. Maybe you're missing your loved one or you're just feeling a little down. Or if something wonderful in your world has happened, ring the bell in celebration. Know that the sound of bells will be carried on invisible wings of hope to all of your Camp Francis friends and family. Inside your care package, we have the story of the bells, listen to the bells, that, were sh that was shared with us by our friend Jerry. Jerry brought this story to us and it's become part of our camp culture when we were very, very sad. Although I've read this story hundreds of times, it still brings me the same comfort that it did the first time I read it. Please share this with a trusted adult and someone who supports you in your life. Let's see what else is in there. Hmm. Can you get that? Whoops. We've got a bird of hope that just sprung right out of my hands. The bird that you received was hand stitched with love by our friend Mary Pat. She was Jerry's wife. She stitched these birds for you in honor of Jerry who died five years ago. As a matter of fact, the heart that is on each bird's chest is made out of one of Jerry's favorite shirts. This is a very sacred gift that Mary Pat gave to you because she believes in you and the courage and strength that you have. We hope that you keep this bird close Share worries with it at night before you go to sleep. Um, hug it at tight when you missed your loved one. Share a memory of camp or your loved one with it when you're sad. And every time you see that heart, remember that this year more than ever, Camp Francis is a place that lives in our heart. So make sure you keep this close. Thank you, Mary Pat, for this beautiful gift. Look at this, a bracelet. It says, a place in your heart. Camp Francis is a place in your heart. Thanks for holding that tight, Frankie. Who doesn't want the world to know that Camp Francis lives in all of our hearts? It's more than just a cabin up in the mountain or with trees and wonderful outdoor activities, but it's something that we carry with us all the time. Please wear this bracelet with pride. And when people ask you about it, share with them a favorite memory of camp. Or if you haven't been to camp yet, share with them a favorite memory of your loved one. After all, we know one of the best ways to take care of ourselves through grief is to share stories. What else is in here? Look at this. It's a bandana. My goodness. We wanted you to have something that you could keep with you and use all year long. This bandana could be wrapped around your wrist um, and worn as a bracelet. You might want to wear it as a headband like I have today. You could even wear it as a face mask to keep you safe. This bandana is a symbol of safety and connectedness that you have with all of your Camp Francis friends. Um, take care of this. Make sure that you keep it safe. And again, if people ask about it, make sure to share with them a special memory that you have. Okay, 
this is where we need some help from you. Inside the white envelope is something very, very important. Although we aren't at camp together this year, it's important to know that we are all linked together because we've all had somebody that we love who's important to us die. Inside the puzzle piece, you will find, inside the envelope rather, you will find a puzzle piece. On one side is the number, and on the other side, we're gonna ask that you use the enclosed markers only. The artist has selected these colors, purple, blue, and silver, as part of our theme this year, so please use these markers. The markers are permanent, so make sure that you're not putting them anywhere but on your puzzle piece. When you're done decorating it, please give those markers to a trusted adult in your life who can keep them safe. On the puzzle piece, thank you, Frankie, I have you hold that. We want you to share a memory of your loved one or share a memory of camp. You could also decide to share with people artistically ways that you take care of yourself throughout the year. It could be sharing a memory. After all, stories are a great way to take care of ourselves during grief. An activity like sports, music, or art could be yoga or taking a big breath. On mine, I drew a picture of all the stars that remind me of being up at Camp Francis with my friends. There's also a campfire and s'more eating. And then I decided to draw a picture that reminds me of my grandma. We used to garden, so I have a picture of a beat there. And I've written words that remind me of her, hope and love and the fact that I still miss her so much. Soon as you get done drawing on the side of the puzzle piece that does not have the number, please put it right back in this self-addressed paid envelope, seal it up, and drop it right in the mail. Thank you. Once we've received all of those puzzle pieces, we're going to work with the artist to put them together and see what kind of beautiful artwork we made. Remember, even though we're not together and we're apart, we're still connected and linked together. That's really, really important. Anything else in there? Frankie's got a couple more things. My goodness, look at this. Bubbles. Oh, man. Bubbles are so important. They help us to remember how to breathe. I don't know about you, Frankie, but I can never get enough bubble blowing. This is another great way to take care of yourself, by breathing and sighing. It's a great grief tool. Bubbles can remind you how to be in the moment and to breathe. We're going to ask that you take your bubbles, along with your family, friends, and support system, outside this Sunday, June 21st at 7 o'clock in the evening. This postcard can be put on your refrigerator to help remind you. Um, we don't want you to forget. And at that time, everyone from Camp Francis, campers, volunteers, and supporters alike, are going to be ringing our bells, blowing bubbles, and sending everyone we love well wishes. Know that the wind is going to carry those bubbles and sounds to everyone that we know. And at that moment, we're going to feel connected together. If you forget, because sometimes busy families do, that's okay. You can take your family outside anytime this summer and blow bubbles, ring those bells, and send well wishes your way. I know that this summer, whenever I see bubbles or I hear bells, I'm going to be thinking of my friends at Camp Francis. There's one last thing that we have for you. Thanks, Frankie. Inside is a calendar of upcoming events. Camp is a very special part of our program, but it's just one part of it. So we wanted to give you a preview of things that are coming up this year that we hope you can be involved with. Although we don't know when we're gonna be able to be together, we are planning and sending well wishes your way. So please share this postcard with somebody important to you and know that we're gonna be reaching out to you to make sure that you're informed of all upcoming events. Oh, that was pretty fun to receive a package of love in the mail, Frankie. Um, one more thing before we go, we have a lot of other people who wanted to say hello and wish you, um, uh, give you a wish of hope and well wishes this summer. So please stay tuned. Thanks. Hey, fellow campers. My name is Andrew. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, even though we're not able to come together this year for camp, next year is going to be the best year ever. Uh, I can't wait for next year. 
Uh, in the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy, and don't, for don't forget to just be the best that you can be. Every single one of you are strong, motivated, and probably some of the best people that we were ever going to meet during camp this year. Um, I can't wait to see you guys next year. You guys are awesome. You guys are the best. And having that said, I hope everyone's well. I wish everyone well and have a good year. Hey, Camp Francis campers, it's Patty here. Sorry, we'll, we're gonna miss you at camp this year, doggone old COVID-19. Anyhow, we hope that you're taking care of yourselves and hope to see you next year at camp. Hey, hey, ho, ho. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. It's Shelly. And Roy. Sending you lots of love. Wish we could be with you this summer. One, One two, two, three. three. Good, Good grief. grief. Hey campers, this is Paul. I work as a gopher in the camp out there and uh, help with the uh, firewood and the sweeping the floors and doing all those things in the background. Kind of help keep things going over there. And uh, I feel sad that we, we won't get to see you guys at camp this summer, but uh, the camp's still strong in our hearts and uh, lots of people are thinking of you guys and uh, We'll be getting you. You'll probably be hearing from us soon. So stay safe. Hi, Camp Francis campers. Sarah here. Man, it's a bummer we're not able to get together this year. We all feel so um, sad about not getting together. I've been thinking of you. We care about you. Wondering how your summer is going. Um, excited for when we can get together or see each other. Uh, and just want you to know that we're still here in spirit we're still offering our support and here and thinking of you i want you to read a little bit about a page out of this book it's called the boy it's kind of a funny title the boy the mole the fox and the horse it says i've discovered something better than cake no you haven't said the boy i have replied the mole what is it a hug it lasts longer and that's what this is this is a virtual hug to you because we care about you we want you to know that we're thinking of you and hope that you have just a nice time this summer and find fun when wherever you can Be strong and trust that things will work out. We're each traveling along paths made by the footsteps of those who lived before us. We give thanks for having known them and they us. We honor their memories, whether they shined for us or not, because everyone teaches us something about how to be or how not to be as we go along. Be safe, stay well, and until we meet up again, shine on and brighten the spot wherever you are. Blessings. I miss you all. Hello Camp Francis family, this is Matthew the photographer. I uh, just wanted to say I'm sorry camp couldn't happen this year. It's just one of those things, um, but all of us counselors are still thinking of you and supporting you through digital technology 
and uh, to the campers who have already been to camp, this is a good time to look back at your memory books and remember the good times you had and what you learned at camp. And to those who haven't been to camp before, I'm sorry you couldn't be there this year, but I look forward to hopefully you can be there next year and have a lot of fun and learn a lot. So, yeah. Uh, thanks, everyone. Take care. Hi campers, it's Jen with a quick hello all the way from Colorado. Even though we're not gathering at camp this year, I want each of you to know that I love you and I cannot wait to see you next year. All of us are sad about not getting together, but one thing we do know for sure, any of us who have been to camp know that Camp Francis truly is a place in the heart. And um, it's not just the one week that we spend together and, and enjoy each other's company and help each other through our challenges. It's the entire year that we hold you in our heart. And so I speak for the fellow volunteers and everybody who helps make camp happen. Next year is going to be amazing and I cannot wait to see you all in person. Until then, have a safe summer, have fun, be well, and we will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey guys, it's Lindy. I'm super bummed about camp being canceled this year and not being able to see everyone, but I know next year it's gonna be better than ever and we're gonna have a great time. So I hope you guys are staying happy and stay healthy and good grief. Hi, Cook Deb here from Camp Francis. Really sad that we won't be seeing you up close and personal this year, but I'm really glad that we'll all be safe and hopefully healthy to meet up again in 2021. Sounds far away. All right, we're busy making some new recipes and some yummy things for you. So we'll see you then. Have a good summer. Bye. Hey campers, it's Dawn. I miss you guys so much. I'm so bummed that I don't get to see you this summer at Camp Francis, but you know what? We're gonna be even better in 2021. So I hope that you make some time to do a little dancing, do some crafting, and get outside. Have a great summer. Have a great summer.